tell us about the use of ketamine and uh, psychedelic drugs in relationship to TRT. Definitely. So, so my latest foray of medicine, my latest passion is, is discovering psychedelic medicine. So psychedelic, I don't know if you knew that in the States now, uh, both MDMA and magic mushrooms, psilocybin, they got FDA emergency use authorization to be able to conduct clinical trials, and they will be most likely FDA approved. MDMA is showing very positive results when they do um, psychedelic associated psychotherapy with MDMA for complex PTSD. Psilocybin, when used in psychotherapy, showing amazing results for depression and anxiety. And the one medication that acts almost like a psychedelic that we have that is FDA approved in the United States is ketamine. So there is a form of ketamine that is an intranasal spray, S-ketamine, that was FDA approved to decrease risk of suicide, decrease depression, decrease anxiety. It's amazing. Within a couple of weeks, you can get somebody who was actively suicidal to now not feeling that anymore. It used to take months with the traditional antidepressants. So mm -hmm. IV ketamine, now I have a clinic in Miami Beach where we use IV ketamine as an off-label to treat treatment-resistant depression and anxiety. So where I... I, I took the connection a little further is that you have the psychedelics who are helping with mindset, with depression. And like what we've talk, uh, talked about before is low testosterone is a high possibility of having depressive symptoms because testosterone does modulate the serotonin and the dopamine receptors. So it has a lot of effect on our mood, our um the way we see life, the way, the way we interact with life. And, and a lot of my patients will tell me this. Uh, and I've talked about this on your channel before, the mental benefits of TRT sometimes are even better than the physical benefits. Yeah. So now I'm looking at, at, at uh, I had a, a patient recently like this, came to me referred by a psychiatrist. He was 32 because of depression. Testosterone level was in the mid 300. First thing we did, this guy was lucky, he had his kids already, so we could go on full testosterone treatment. We went on testosterone therapy, and within six months, he was able to slowly come off his SSRI medication with his psychiatrist, and he was doing really well. But once he came off the antidepressant, he was still having some moments where, you know, he was not feeling great. And I went and did IV ketamine with him because I, 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 I diagnosed him with treatment-resistant depression, and I didn't feel that putting him on more SSRI would be the, the right thing. And we did IV ketamine. What, IV, what ketamine is, uh, well, let me finish with that patient. With the treatment of IV ketamine, and he had a mystical experience. Mm -hmm. Six months later, this guy is on a cloud now. So now he's optimized on testosterone, and he has the, the IV ketamine that helped rewire his brain and his depression and his mood is, is a completely different person. So to go over ketamine and why it became FDA approved for depression. So ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic agent that's been used for a long time, has a very long track of safety. It is so safe that it is what they use usually for pediatric surgery. They use ketamine as the anesthetic agent. It's also ketamine that we use in combat fields. Uh, when they need to do an amputation, it's the safest anesthetic to use because it doesn't stop your respiration. So, and at the, the psychedelic, doses, it is a much lower dose than the anesthetic doses. So what the studies are showing that when you use ketamine, which is a glutamate, uh, it acts on the glutamate uh, receptor, the glutamate uh, neurotransmitter. Uh, so it's a little different than the typical psychedelics. But what the, what the studies show, they actually did functional MRIs of patients after doing uh, ketamine. And they showed an axon, which is the uh, axon in the dendrites, which is the, the nerve cells. And they showed that somebody with stress, depression, he had very little branching of, of the cells. When they put that patient on ketamine or different psychedelics, within 24, 48 hours, you see the little sprouting of the cells. So meaning that psychedelics, including ketamine, increases interconnectivity inside of the brain and increases neuroplasticity. And this is the mechanism that we think helps with improvement of mood, improvement of anxiety. So my patients now, a lot of my patients who are, who are dealing with depression, with anxiety, and sometimes it may not be 
depression to the level where you want to kill yourself, but it's dysthemia, right? It's not enjoying life. It's not getting there. So for a lot of my patients that had optimized already on their nutrition, their exercise, I optimized their hormone levels, including their testosterone. The last missing point on some of my patients, it is doing that voyage, getting that connection and getting their brains rewired. And at this point, uh, that patient becomes really on path to be the best version of himself. So I'm yeah. excited about psychedelic medicine because it's really going to revolutionize psychiatry. It's going to revolutionize the way we see medicine. And for us, wellness physicians, that's going to be another tool that we're going to have to help patients really be their best version of themselves. Mm -hmm. Great story. Great story. Very interesting. Never heard of that. I, I, I guess here in Europe, it's not uh, approved. Uh, not the ketamine, but, you know, a lot of times with the uh, magic mushrooms, psilocybin, a lot of studies are, are coming up. Uh, magic mushrooms, it's starting to get decriminalized in the U.S. They are doing a lot of studies out of NYU, out of um, Mount Sinai in New York. So it's huge, big universities that are doing it. They are doing them a lot. They are doing a lot of studies. But it's always psychedelic-associated psychotherapy. It's not just the medicine. It's also the psychotherapy that you do with it. But they are using it a lot on cancer patients, end-stage cancer, to help them use with the, the angst, the anxiety, the, 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 for fear. So if it works for those patients, imagine for the patient who have existential angst, That, that, you know, keeps having uh, in our brain, we have something called the default mode network. It is what we think of ourselves. This is the way our brain is wired. Or the story that we tell ourselves, our inner dialogue, it's almost a short circuit. You know, like a lot of guys, a lot of people, we know that. We wake up in the morning, oh, yeah, today I already have back pain. I'm tired. I need to do this. And then your brain keeps going. Oh, mm -hmm. they, somebody cut me off uh, on, the, on the highway here. Default mode network, I get angry and it all goes around like this. What psychedelics allow you is instead of that short circuit of the default mode network, it can interrupt this and increase your connectivity into different parts of your brain that can have many different effects. And, and you know, I have a full disclosure. Um, I went through a very significant trauma in my life. My brother committed suicide five years ago. And it was a really, really difficult thing for me to, to, to deal with. Uh, testosterone helped me a lot because it really helped me get a lot. I wasn't depressed, but I had a lot of thoughts going through my mind. And I've done so far three ketamine sessions. And every time I do one, what it does for me, it almost gives you uh, an observer effect of your life. So it makes you realize because most of the times I have the mystical experience where I felt like I was connected to the cosmos, to universe, to God, however we, we choose to find it. But when you feel that deep connection, when you feel that mystical experience, our studies show that this is the healing part of psychedelics. And I experienced it. After doing this, I realized, wow, it's not that it wasn't a horrible thing that happened to me, but it was able to give me uh, a recul, like a look back from yeah. outside and looking at it and be like, I'm so much more than my pain. Mm -hmm. I'm connected to this greater mystery. And this was very healing for me. And the mm -hmm. patients that I help now with ketamine, this is the story that I heal all the time. It is yeah. healing because of its connection to that great mystery. And then when you do that on a patient that's already optimized, that eats well, that exercise, that have a positive attitude, that sleeps well, and then is optimized on testosterone, this is amazing.